computers are not to be trusted. You fall in love with them. You give them your financial records, your as yet unpublished blockbuster novel, the love letters you shouldn't ought to have written. You form the relationship, then it goes kaput. What on earth do you do? Here's Andy Webb with one idea. We've had computers that have been melted in a fire. We've had computers that have been run over by buses, trucks, and taxis. We've had a computer that actually sank to the bottom of the Amazon River. For some people, it's like losing something very precious to them. I left my heart. Well, perhaps that should be, I left my hard drive. You see, San Francisco is where really sick computers are sent to get better. If you can afford the treatment, that is. So it is going to be $1,200 for the recovery. Drive Savers is a clinic for computers which have lost their memory. This is a computer hard drive opened up in a special clean room. Years of work might be stored on this disk, spinning at more than 7,000 revolutions a minute. If a particle gets onto the surface of one of these disk drives, it's like a small mountain to the head, and uh, of course that means that the data that was right there is gone. If the hard drive isn't broken, it may be a problem with the software, which they'll try to correct with repair programs developed over the 12 years they've been in business. Yeah. Working for some well-known clients all over the world. I'm so happy that I Sting sent in a drive. They had lost all his accounting, and they were frantic to find out. They didn't know how much money he had left in his bank. We were able to save it, and they were very thankful they even sent us an autographed picture. I'm so happy that I can stop crying. Sprint five, I'm going in. We've worked with uh, George Lucas's company. We've worked on Star Wars, um, their special effects. They lost a very important storyboard. <laughs> We were able to recover some of that data for them, and they were very happy about that. Why do showbiz and computers seem to spell disaster? I've come here to meet the man who created the world's most popular cartoon family, The Simpsons. Who created them and then nearly lost them. Bill Oakley is executive producer and scriptwriter for The Simpsons. We had an external hard drive that had everything that we'd actually everything we'd ever written on it. His disc was badly mangled by software. I think he had a, a power shortage. <laughs> I usually was pretty good about keeping floppy backups, but then after a while it just started to become a nuisance and I decided to forget it. And um, that, of course, is when the crash always occurs. The data recovery service starts at around 200 pounds, can cost several thousand, with an average job around 500 pounds. The company claims a 90% success rate, but just in case, they have a data loss crisis counselor standing by. I don't know what I did, but there's nothing there. I mean, I, nothing. Don't blame yourself. Usually when you hear an unusual sound from the drive, it's usually a hardware problem. Some people are paralyzed by fear. That, that their life is, is spinning wildly out of control, that they'll never be able to get that data back or never be able to recreate that data. Uh, it can be a very traumatic experience for people. Avoid trauma and expense with these tips from the experts. Take all the data from your, your drive inside your machine and move it on to a backup device. Invest in a backup system. Cost around 300 pounds. A power surge can knock the data right off your computer. Buy a power surge protector widely available at around 15 pounds. Laptop, um, people don't realize, is they shouldn't be moving their laptop while the drive is on. Because in doing that, you can have the head flap against the media, which will cause you immense problems. Laptops always switch them off before moving them around. <laughs> 